Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm starting a brand new series on my channel and it is called How to Own a Public Minecraft Server. Now before we start I need to make a small disclaimer and then a bit of information how the series is going to be working and release dates and all that type of stuff but let's get the disclaimer out of the way. All the information I'm going to be giving out in this series of videos, however long it's going to be, is all from my personal experience and my opinion at the end of the day. Now, if you know something better, let's say, let, let's take server hosting, what this episode is going to be about, and you know a better website, please do not go with my website, go with your one, what you trust. All I'm trying to do is recommend information for people to follow. So please always try and remember that. So yes, let's get into it. So uh, how the series is going to be working, hopefully one episode a week, maybe two, uh, depends how, how it works out. And hopefully most you know people who watch these videos will suggest ideas so I'm gonna be starting off very simple uh, they're gonna be informational videos like today's video is gonna be informational then maybe tomorrow's video might be small tutorials so we'll work our way up so we'll go all the way from you know actually getting a server host you know looking around buying stuff like talking about prices and then we'll move you know slowly down uh, you know where do I get my plugins from uh, best way to install them stuff like that and then we'll get all the way down right at the end you know it doesn't have to be like you know 10 months you know down the line it could be you know a few weeks down the line uh, where we could talk about domain management um, database structures stuff like that I've been in the Minecraft community for a very long time now for about three and a half to four years and I've learned a great deal of stuff and I want to share it with my viewers so anyway let's get started with the first episode Right then, today's video is all about server providers and home hosting. So let's get started. So I have three tiers of uh, server companies, and that is low, middle, and high. And I mean that as pricing, not as quality. Uh, but before I do actually show you the um, server companies, as I said at the start of the video, in no way you've got to go and buy servers off these three companies. If you know a better company, Please tell me down below in the comment section. Uh, please put their name in. Don't put the address of the link to their the server company uh, in the comments because it'll end up being flagged up as spam and uh, people won't see it then. And uh, if the server company is very good, I will probably put it in the description. So anyway, let's get started with the first server company and that is GG Servers. So GG Servers is the lower end. Uh, you, you'll probably see most server companies capping off at $3 per gigabyte of RAM. So they offer, as I said, you know, for one gigabyte of RAM uh, is $3. Now, I recommend you probably want to have a server about two gigabytes or one and a half gigabytes if you can get away with it on some uh, server companies. But here it goes up in the gigabyte uh, incrementals. Uh, so, you know, one, two, three, and four, and so on. So uh, for a two gigabyte server, is 24 players uh, recommended and it caps off at that and that is six dollars per month now there is a little slider over here where you can go to premium and they'll offer ddos protection up to 160 gigabytes a second uh, so that is very good but you are being charged a, a bit more we've well, been charged double of the server to get that now with this company let's say you want to have a database and stuff like that so you will have to pay extra uh, same with unlocking the player accounts, you will have to pay extra to unlock that. So that's how they can get their servers quite cheap. They're not offering you everything in one go. Um, so just, just remember that. But what I use this mainly for is test servers. You know, if I never need to test a plugin, uh, what requires to go on a proper server and stuff like that, I normally hop over here and buy a server, you know, for what, $1.50. So that is very, very good. So anyway, let's move on to the next company. Oh, and also, uh, support is very uh, is standard on here. Uh, I've had no problems with the support system. And w and when I did host a server here for about four to six months, I did have one day of downtime. So that was very good. So anyway, let's move on to the next company. What is Server Miner? Now, for viewers of my channel uh, who have all, you know who've been subscribed for a little while, they've probably noticed Server Miner. I did get sponsored in one video by them. And uh, I've even bought, you know, I've bought servers before they even offered to sponsor me for that video. Uh, and from my experience, uh, it's been very good. So they don't offer the two stage um, packages. I You can probably class them as. They'll only offer one package per server. So they offer, you know, very fast SSDs, the next, you know, the most updated uh, processors and a much higher DDoS protection here. So you're looking... Um, 
well, as, as it says here, 480 gigabytes a second. So higher the number, more protection you have against DDoS attacks. So we'll look at their packages. And as you see here, they'll offer uh, a one and a half gig to two gig servers. Uh, so here, so that's well, we'll round it up. So that so that's a six pound server. So that's probably about nine dollars, I think, or eight dollars, something, maybe even ten dollars. It's one of them. Uh, but they do cap their players off at twenty, so that is four less than uh, GG servers. Uh, so, but you can pay to unlock them. But what they offer you in stuff, so as it says, free stuff down here. They'll actually offer you a 10 slot mumble server, a Bycraft premium, a engine uh, premium, so that's a website sort of thing. And they'll offer you actually a database for free and a custom uh, address for your server. So uh, let's say your name for the server was playcraft.serverminer.com. So we'd add that serverminer.com on the end so you can use that. Uh, so, yep, yeah, a little bit more expensive, but you are getting a few more features. And as you can see here, they'll add. Uh, they offer quite a lot of mod support as well uh, for their servers. So yeah, and support on here is very good, uh, very friendly. So yeah, that is very cool. Now we'll go on to our final company, and that is MC Pro Hosting. MC Pro Hosting is probably one of the biggest Minecraft hosts hosters out there. You know, they were there pretty much from the start when you know companies were popping up and uh, hosting Minecraft servers. So uh, very very cool. We'll look at the pricing. Now, I will not lie, pricing on here is very expensive. It is, you know, as you see here, a, um, for, a, for a 2 gigabyte server, you're looking at $20. But, you know, if you look back here for a 2 gigabyte server, you're looking at $6. But they are putting you on very good hardware and stuff like that. They offer quite a lot of good features. If we come just back here to the main page and just scroll down a touch. Come on, scroll down. So, you know... You got all your standard DDoS protection, uh, mod pack installed, and uh, so on. Uh, their support is very support on here is excellent. You know, if you ever have a problem, you send a support ticket in, and nine times out of ten, it'll be fixed straight away. Uh, but one thing what I think is quite cool, what they've managed to do is, they have thirteen data centers in you know across the entire world, even including Australia. Now, if people aren't really into their data center stuff like I am their data centers aren't the you know popular in Australia they normally host them outside Australia there are a few but um, I think uh, MC Pro Hosting is the only one who has a data center in Australia so that is quite cool and as you can see down here and they've got all test servers so they can you know you can go and test out your ping and stuff but um, their one downside is to on here is their um, cost for the servers so you're looking at probably fifteen dollars for, you know, I'd go for the fifteen dollar one here. Thirty players recommended. So yeah, that is my choice uh, for server companies. Um, that that's pretty much it for that. Now we'll move on to home hosting. Home hosting and Minecraft server. I do not recommend it if you if you're planning to make a public server at home on your PC. Stop please right now. If you, all I would have a home server for is for friends to play on, you know, play on the Minecraft server and build and, you know, play some adventure maps. I would not, I would never host a public server on my computer for one main reason. All it takes is that one person who can DDoS somebody. When you give your IP, let's say off MC Pro Hosting, you'll serve what you bought off them, yeah, and they DDoS that IP. You know, unless they've got a, you know, less a proper, proper DDoSing, you know, I mean, like mega people who can take down, you know, popular websites, that you probably won't notice you even being DDoSed. But if they DDoS your home IP, you have no chance to stop that attack. You know, uh, there's no chance because, you know, your router or router, however you want to say it, will not stop that DDoS attack. Uh, your internet will be knocked off for what? couple of hours to 24 hours depends how long you ddos you for so always remember that with hosting with you know having a proper hosted server you have a lot more protection and you're not giving out your public I, uh, address uh, public ip address to you know random people so please always remember that so yeah that is pretty much it as i said you don't you don't have to go with these companies please recommend your companies down below and uh, yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this first video uh, hope you know it is going to go a lot smoother after this. Uh, it is it is a bit 
of a finicky video this is uh, because you know it's about hosting and there's a lot of you know things you want to do but always remember research YouTube Google and you just got to look for reviews and you know top 10 lists or top 5 lists and stuff like that so anyway guys thank you for watching make sure you subscribe like favorite and please suggest your videos down in the comments to add to this series anyway guys thanks a lot goodbye